Guess who's back? Back again. Lukey's back. Tell a friend. What is up everyone? Luke here and time for another Tutorial Tuesday video. I know it's been like over a year now, but I will start getting on these again. Probably not every Tuesday, maybe every other Tuesday or once every month. I'm not sure, I'll decide. It's winter, so I've probably got a little bit more time on my hands now. So today, we're going back to square one and we're doing parkour roll, dive roll, and anything to do with rolling. So you should know what a parkour roll is by now, especially if you're highly into parkour. It's basically the thing that saves your life when you jump off like 13 story buildings, um, because obviously you could land off a 13 story building, roll, and be fine. So if you don't know what one of those is, go to the beginning of the video or somewhere halfway through this video and I'll have some slow-mos and clips of those for you. But it's a must have if you're doing parkour because it does essentially save your life, save your knees, save your ankles, save your hips. So the purpose of it is to take the pressure off your joints and spread it out into a roll um, so you can take more impact. All right, and also it's used for like a bailing device. So imagine you do a front flip and you're falling forward. You're just not gonna take the face part, you're just gonna roll because it's a lot easier. All right, so it can be quite a complex move and it can take quite a long time to learn so don't feel like disheartened if you can't do it because it's one of those things that you'll always practice over and over again and you'll always just make slightly better so step one we're going to come down to the floor if you can't do this step you need to give up it's a gymnastics roll so we're going to make sure we're not wearing any headwear and we're going to put our hands flat on the floor like so we're going to tuck our chin into our chest and we are going to do a roll So that was step one. You must be able to do that because if you can't do that, you're not going to be able to go over your shoulder because that's essentially what a parkour roll is. First of all, before we move on, I just want to say, notice how that was very smooth and I didn't like bounce at any point. I just rolled smoothly across the grass, uh, I tucked my knees in, came up to standing. All right, that's a gymnastics roll. We never do that in parkour. You will die. Okay. So for the parkour roll, we're going to take it very, 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 very slowly. We're going to come down to crouch position. All right. First of all. You're going to choose a, sh a shoulder to roll over. I like to roll over my right shoulder. So if I'm rolling over my right shoulder, I need my hands to be to the left side of my body. So meaning if you do it over your left shoulder, your hands need to be over the right side of your body. Okay? We're going to put our hands on the floor, and then our right elbow goes onto the floor. Then our shoulder, and from there, we just roll over. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like now. So, crouching down, hands to the left side, elbow down, shoulder down. Okay, so that was my way of learning parkour roll. This is how I teach all my students in all my classes, and this is how I teach anyone that I ever get the chance to teach, or anyone who asks me for advice, okay? There are so many different ways to learn this, but I think that's the best, because the whole point of the parkour roll is to go over your shoulder, and you'll see a lot of kids going over the top of their head, which, if you don't know, is a terrible idea, because this bone right here, this bobbly one, if you hit that hard enough, you're paralyzed, okay? Don't mean to scare anyone, so that's why we roll over one shoulder and not over the top of our head. Okay, this one, you're putting your elbow down on the floor and then your shoulder. It's teaching you to go straight over your shoulder. We should be going from one shoulder to our opposite hip. So imagine there's a line and it's going all the way down to our opposite hip. And the same if we go over our left shoulder, which I can't reach up to, we're gonna go all the way down to our right hip, okay? Slightly confusing, don't worry too much about that for now. Um, but. Just focus on going over one shoulder and you want to go over the soft bit, okay? So I'm going to go over quickly a few common faults now. So common fault number one would be going over the right shoulder but turning your head that way. Don't ask me how that works and why people do it. As you can see, my chin is now in the way of my shoulder so there's no way of me going over that shoulder. Make sure you turn your head the opposite way to the shoulder you're going on, okay? Fault number two is going too much over the side and a few common areas of pain include tiny little bobbly bone at the back of your shoulder somewhere around there if you hit that wrong especially on concrete it hurts quite a lot hips somehow knees somehow and ankles okay now i'll show you loads of different ways of how that looks when you hit those different body parts and what not to do in your parkour roll number one turning your head the wrong way Two, going too far around the side of your back. Number three, hurting your shoulder by putting it straight into the floor. 
number four and five, hip, knee and ankle, all in one. Basically, as you come out, your leg comes out at that sort of angle. So you keep your hip on the floor, knee and then your ankle. Finally, the last one, not actually doing a roll, but doing a flip so you just smack around. So those are just a few ways, quite a few ways, on how you can fail the parkour roll and it actually hurts, like my right leg is in quite a significant amount of pain right now. So don't do any of those because it will suck, okay? So a few main teaching points for the parkour roll is use your hands okay your hands are there to absorb the impact so if you imagine i'm on a flat surface now okay my elbows will bend so then i take the impact up with my arm here then goes over to my shoulder down the my back diagonally and then i come out standing okay you don't want to come out of the parkour roll on your knee or your ankle because you're not going to be able to run out of it the main thing with the parkour roll is to be able to keep the momentum going so those are the main teaching points of the parkour roll. I'm going to show you a few parkour rolls now in slow motion from different angles just so you can see what I'm on about. So, that was the parkour roll broken down. Quite some depth, I think. Um, so hopefully you've taken something from that. Um, even if you can already do your parkour rolls, mm -hmm. hopefully you can make them a little bit better. So now we're gonna go through the dive roll and how you'd learn that. There's two different types of dive roll. Obviously you can go quite far, or you can go quite high, and there's two different types of takeoff. So two-footed takeoff and one-footed takeoff. I'm not really gonna cover that. It's mm -hmm. just a case of playing with it yourself. If you watch like Webster tutorials and stuff like that, takeoffs are pretty much the same um, as a universal in parkour. So the easiest way to learn the dive roll is by starting with a parkour roll, do a small jump, parkour roll, small jump, parkour roll and get it bigger, bigger and better basically. Um, so walk before you can run, always start off small and then build it up progressively bit by bit until you feel comfortable. Um, the main points with the dive roll is make sure your feet leave the ground before your hands touch to absorb the impact. And on this one, it's very important your hands absorb the impact. So I'm not really going to talk too much about this. I'm just going to show you how you would build up to this, okay? Basically, this time, we'll do a small jump, making sure our feet leave the ground before our hands touch. So small jump, hands touch. So hopefully now you've seen how to work up the parkour roll to the dive roll. Um, you can really experiment with the dive roll going high, going far. Um, you can even add like 360s and stuff in there. I'm not really good at that sort of stuff. So if you want a tutorial on that, I'll bring in some friends who are really, really good at that and they can help you through. Um, but it's a very important move. Obviously we use in every day, jumping and flipping and things like that. Um, and dive rolls are just used to get through small gaps over things. They're quite quick, quite fun. Um, you just gotta be careful, because obviously, if it's slippery like it is today, when you roll, you can sort of skid across the floor and things like that. Just be aware of your surroundings. And also, make sure you practice these on concrete as well. I know it sounds weird, but make sure you do, because if you can only roll on grass, it's no good when you go to flip a gap on concrete, and you can't roll. So, that has been a two-in-one tutorial on the parkour roll, or safety roll, and the dive roll. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it's a little bit weird being in front of the camera again after this long. Hopefully, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'll try and push out tutorials as much as possible, especially to try and help the students that are currently coming to our classes. As always, make sure you check out PKFR World. They've got some cool stuff on their website. 
different athlete profiles, team profiles, videos, pictures, stuff like that. Make sure you check out my Facebook, Spar's Facebook, my Instagram, Spar's Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Spar on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube, Spar's YouTube and then make sure you look at Spiral's website. So a lot of things to look at, our website's really coming along and we've got our store open now so you can order things online. I'm not wearing any of the gear now but here is a sneak peek of some stuff which is coming very soon. This sort of stuff will be available on the store so keep an eye out for that and as always drop a comment down below let me know what you you'd like to see next time whether I should keep it simple or go back to some advanced movements or flick between the two all right thank you very much for watching train safe take care peace